One of the fastest and most efficient ways to get to campus is to drive your own vehicle. It's important to also know how to park on campus. You can find more information for this on the UMN Parking and Transportation Services website at pts.umn.edu where you can find various maps of roads and highways surrounding our campus and locations on campus to park. Driving on campus can be especially challenging when you are unfamiliar with the roads and parking. It's important to be cautious and aware of your surroundings at all times, especially on campus where it is often crowded. Some rules of the road for driving on campus include 1. Watch for pedestrians and students. 2. Familiarize yourself with driving to campus. You can do this by practicing the routes multiple times before the start of the school year. 3. Watch out for one-way roads and bus-only lanes. 4. Watch for signs and traffic lights. 5. Yield to buses and light rails. 6. Keep up to date with road closures and warnings in Minnesota through the 511 website at new.511mn.org. 7. Obey all street laws and signs. 8. Wear your seatbelt. 9. Be aware of biking and pedestrian traffic. 10. Stay in your car if it breaks down on the road. Raise the hood and set your emergency lights on. When someone stops to help, ask them through a closed or cracked window to call for help. Do not leave your vehicle. And 11. If you think something is wrong with your vehicle, are bumped from behind, or being followed, pull into the nearest service station or well-lit public area and call for help. There are many different ways and places to park when you arrive on campus. You can find on-campus parking spots on the Parking and Transportation Services website as mentioned previously under Navigate Campus and by looking through the various campus maps. Facilities such as ramps, garages, and lots can be found in various places around campus. Each facility has different periods of parking time to select from. When you pull into the entering gate, your rate is based on the estimated parking hours you select. You can select your time and from there, you'll get a ticket that will allow you to enter and park in the facility. When you're ready to leave, make sure you present and return your ticket when leaving the gate. For meter parking, most of the meters have a limit of two and a half hours. There are a lot of parking meters around Stadium Village on East Bank and Riverside Street on West Bank. When parking and leaving your car on campus, make sure to 1. Always lock your vehicle and close all windows and sunroof. 2. Keep valuable items secured in the trunk. 3. Scan your path when leaving and entering your vehicle. 4. Avoid parking next to large trucks or vans. 5. In the time of a pandemic, it might be helpful to keep sanitizer or disinfectants with you or in your car. When re-entering, it's a good safety precaution to wipe down items like the inside door handle and steering wheel to keep them safe and clean. And 6. Look for parking maps in the PTS website that will show you road closures nearby campus. If you want to have a secured parking spot on campus, you can always apply for the parking lottery. If you win and are selected, you can choose a type of parking and pay a fee for a whole semester. You can choose from lots for $74 per month, ramps for $104.75 per month, and garages for $137 per month. Discounted parking rates include early bird, enter between midnight and 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and exit before midnight on the same day for $7. Night Owl, enter 5 p.m. or later Monday through Thursday and exit before 7 a.m. on the next day for $1 per hour or $7 max. Weekend Off Peak, enter between 5 p.m. on Friday and midnight on Sunday for $1 per hour or $7 max. This video was presented to you by the Office of Off-Campus Living. To find more information about our office, you can check out our website at ocl.umn.edu and stay connected with us through our social media. The information we gathered from this video came from the Parking and Transportation Services website at pts.umn.edu. We thank you for watching this video and we hope you have a great first year at the University of Minnesota.